On the table, McDonald's Happy Meal Disney Pixar Toy Story 4 Toy Collection. We have 10 toys to collect. Rumor has it they turn into an RV. And Landry, let me be the first to say, you look ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I lost the coin toss. No kidding. Well, we start off with the number one toy, Buzz Lightyear's High Striker. And out of the bag, the High Striker with Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. Hey, that's my phrase now. Jumping Jupiters, what is that? Ah, just go with it, Buzz. So the High Striker looks pretty easy to operate, one of those ring the bell towers. We're gonna drop down Buzz onto this little notch here. And he locks in, and then we're just going to press this green button behind him to launch him into the stratosphere. Whoa, launch is pretty good. I'm really impressed with that one. And one more launch. All right, the second one wasn't as impressive. One more time for three. There we go. So the striker looks like it forms the front of the RV possibly. We have some instructions. And sure enough, there it is. You can see the tire and everything. We've got a sticker for the tire, but I'm afraid that's probably just gonna fit kind of funny. But I will put uh, the headlights on, I think. I think that'll look nice. And we'll place Ham in the driver's side window and the license plate too. Also packed with these toys we have Carnival tickets! Here's a yellow strand of tickets with Forky, Buzz Lightyear, and Bo Peep. And there is a scan barcode on the back here that you can scan and possibly win something. Kind of a fun and different idea for Happy Mill. Well, let's see some more games. The number two toy we have Whackin' Alien Toy. The claw machine aliens being some of my most favorite characters in Toy Story. So this toy looks to function pretty simply. It's just your common whack-a-mole, whack-an-alien type of game. We'll pick an alien that is up the highest, and one goes up, and they just keep switching. Position. Okay, that's too much fun. However, the mechanism works on that is pretty amazing. Red carnival tickets, this time with Woody, Ducky, and Bunny, and Jesse. And I believe this toy features the front windshield upper part of the RV, so let's add some stickers to that. There we go. Got two windows on each side. This is probably the most difficult sticker right there with the windshield underneath the ridge of this front extending cab piece. Have fun with that. But there is the Wacken Alien. I like that game quite a bit. The number three toy, Bo Peep's Bottle Blast. And a Bo Peep out of the pack. Looks like we have some bottles to stack. Fold their bases. And then kind of place them on the back end here, I believe. A little clumsy. Fold them in a little bit so they lean. There we go, can't believe I got those all on. Place Bo Peep onto the turntable. And now we are going to bottle blast by rotating the dial on the bottom. Here we go. Whoa. That's kind of tricky to do, but I like the spinning feature. Whoa, there she goes. Nice little Bo Peep figure too. So this must be another part of the RV. They all are, it looks like a wheel. Pretty clever using the wheel as the spinner. Again, I don't think I'm going to go with the wheel decals. They're just gonna fit funny because there's so much texture there. But we will add the giant Toy Story 4 sticker, I believe. There we go, having a tricky time with stickers today. They're not forgiving, so you have to be super careful with them. But I think I got it how I wanted it. All right, there's Bo Peep. And it looks like we have some green tickets. We have Duke Kaboom, Rex, and Gabby Gabby. The number four toy is Forky's Toss. 
And out of the pack, looks like we have more of a back end of the RV. We've got the ladder piece. We'll install this like so. Then we place Forky over here on this peg. Then to launch Forky into the trash, we press right here. Whoa, he just went flying. Try that again. Let's have him looking this way. I think that's balanced better. Oh, perfect. Perfect shot. So make sure he's kind of pointing, looking towards the trash can too. There we go. It's all about balance. Well, I got it that one time. Really nice Forky figure, by the way. Oh, I call that a win. Tickets for the pack. Blue tickets this time. We've got Bullseye, Woody, and Buzz Lightyear. And we're going to have to add some stickers, of course. What do we got here? One and two. There's a tiny rainbow on Forky's foot. Don't forget that. Looks like you can choose between two sets of stickers for the back window. I wish I kind of chose the other one. Hmm, darn. Okay, that's Forky. Moving on. The number five toy, Woody's here with Woody's Balloon Boom. Woody out of the pack. Again, most of these small figures are actually looking pretty well done. There's no articulation, but they painted them well. And so far, most of them are standing. So we have a few balloons to install. Which colors shall we use? Uh, let's go with red. Blue. And green. And we'll install them on the back wall here. Wiggle them in like so, then place Woody down onto these pegs. And to get Woody to boom balloon, we're going to pull back his arm somehow. And toss those balloons. Looks like there's a little bit of give to that arm. And hopefully we can get a good angle of this. There they go. Took a couple of swipes. Very kind of rubbery arm there. The only downside to these uh, cardboard cutout pieces, they're kind of easy to lose. But I have a feeling I'm going to have this in RV form most of the time. We've got green tickets again with Woody. And we've got Duke Kaboon, Rex, and Gabby Gabby. As for stickers, one and two. Oh, this is such a tough one to decide. Either Slinky or G.I. Joe figures. I gotta go with the Army Men. That's way cooler. That's what I would play with. Really like the idea how we can customize this RV to our liking. All right, the number six toy, where is it? There it is, Duke Kaboom's Wheelie Jump number six. And a Duke Kaboom out of pack. More red tickets this time with Woody, Duck, E, Bunny, and Jesse stickers here. I think this is going to be a fan favorite just because of the action feature. We have Duke Kaboom on his bike, of course. Interesting that there is no wheel action to it. It's just kind of a simple figurine. Just this figure, figurine alone is kind of kind of fun. So we're going to insert onto this little launcher here. I think we've got him locked in. It didn't really click. And then we'll press down and he should launch over this ramp. Oh, sorry Landry. Try that again. Here, let's move the squirrels so that he can jump right over them. Everybody ready for this crazy action? Here we go. Oh, I think he did a flip, too. This is certainly the most fun so far. All right, here we go. One more, one more jump. Perfect. Hasn't nailed the landing yet, though. Last one, last one. Not a good lander, but a really fun toy. As for stickers, looks like we have another wheel toy. There is a moving wheel there. And we've got another Toy Story 4 sticker. Oh, these are the worst. Try to get the word Disney Pixar to be straight up top, and then the rest of the logo will lay down. Oh, almost ripped the sticker. There we go. There's not a lot of room to work with. And the tire, 
Oh, it looks like we can put the Canadian maple leaf on the back of his cape. I'm just going to leave that off just because the stickers are so easy to come off on rounded surfaces. So we'll just leave that as is. And now we can go to the number seven toy. The number seven toy, Jesse Jump House, upside down. Okay, out of the pack we have more blue tickets this time. I think these are just repeating at this point. We've got Bullseye Woody and Buzz Lightyear. How are we gonna build this one? We've got some very giving rubbery flag posts and I think we're just gonna pop those in to the sides here, flip around. There we go, they're just gonna pop right into these pegs. And Jessie is suspended by wire. Then it looks like we're supposed to pull her down a little bit and then let her go. And she kind of pops up. I don't know if that's gonna be fun or terrifying. Kind of fun though, a lot different than a disc launcher or a pullback racer. Lots of elements to the construction of this toy. Does Jesse come off this rope? Looks like she's pretty well going to be always attached to that rope. So if you're just interested in the figures by themselves, she's stuck there. Adding some stickers on. And the stickers installed. Let's move on to number eight. And the number eight toy, you will not believe this one, Ducky and Bunny's Squirrel Derby. Say what? Hello. Oh, I think we're in for a treat. Let's open up. And out of the box, we have the Squirrel Derby, looking brightfully incredible. Looking at this amazing game up closer, Ducky and Bunny Squirrel Derby ready to go. I suppose the way you play is you spin the wheel and you move your squirrel. Let's give it a spin. Two acorns, cool. So I can move the orange squirrel two acorns forward. Okay, Landry, how about you give it a try? Alright, be ready to lose, buddy. <laughs> Two acorns for Landry. You know, since I have to move the blue squirrel, I should deduct an acorn. Okay, my turn. Oh no, negative one acorn. Can't believe this. Going behind now. Alright, Barry, you want to give it a shot? I don't even have to try. Two acorns, oh no. One, two. Ah, uh, looks like you won. Can I go one more time? Sure, let the loser spin out. Not very nice. Oh no, I'm back where I started. Got to be a squirrel to be in the stampede. Oh man, still a very entertaining game though. The greatest moment of my Happy Mill reviewing life. As for being a part of the RV, it does not look like there are any stickers. I think this is the back of the RV. I think that's the replacement tire, maybe. So we'll just kind of wait and add this part on later. Sadly, moving on to the number nine toy, Rex and Trixie's Hammer Time. What is going on here? More red tickets with Woody, Ducky Bunny, and Jesse stickers for a minute here from now. Maybe if I were to set this up just right, there we go. So poor Rex and Trixie are stuck in one of those hammer rides. The scaling is way off on this one. A little closer in you can see Rexy up on the top hammer and Trixie on the bottom. And to rotate, it looks like we have something on the back here. Something to press up and down I believe. Okay, so that's gonna lift up and down and they're gonna spin. Seems to work better just to jam it down hard and let it spin for a minute. Kind of a fun one though, I'd put it in my top five of this collection. Now to add on some stickers, once again I think we can choose. There we go, it's kind of fun adding as many possible toys as we can. And our final toy number 10, we have Gabby Gabby's Twirling Teacup. Alright, what do we got? Blue tickets, again, this one of course had Bullseye Woody and Buzz Lightyear. And how are we going to get this one to work? So place Gabby Gabby's teacup up onto the rotator tool 
And we are going to spin the wheel, and I imagine she's going to spin too. All too easy. And our final stickers to install. And there we go. Now that's number 10. Now we figure out the combiner toy. Bringing everything back. That's a lot of pieces. Luckily we have a small guide on showing us how to rebuild this thing. Trickiest part being getting the correct pieces in the correct spots. So it's best to set aside some of the character pieces. Step one, we will be building the driver's side part of the RV. These four pieces locking in pretty well. I like the locks so far. And now we're going to work on the passenger side. Those lock in fairly tightly. Step three, we're going to form these two pieces together. That's fairly loose, so hopefully the rest of the van will stick together. Step four, we're going to place in the back end, which I believe must be my favorite squirrel ride. You'll want to move your squirrels all the way to the left there. Oh, careful, careful, really fragile so far. And now we just have to put in the windscreen and we've got it. Terrific, we got it. Looks like a couple other pieces to do though. We've got the ladder piece to add on in there. That's gonna go right over the squirrels it looks like. Maybe pop it into the blue squirrel. And now we've got room up on top for the characters. Ah, so Jesse. There we go, like so. Oops, but she's backwards, so we're gonna flip her around again. All right, so now we can place this back in. This is going to add a lot more color to the RV. It's pretty white right now. Who else do we have here? Buzz Lightyear is next. Looks like they've just got him on this peg right here. Looks like you can kind of do it however you want with many of the characters. Woody would be next. We'll place him right there. So there's your main three. It's just getting a little difficult back there, so I'm gonna leave them off for now. And just look and marvel at this awesome combiner RV toy. Absolutely thrilled when Happy Mill does this with their toys. Makes it for such an incredible collecting experience. Well, I must say that is an impressive Go-Go Gadget RV mobile. Whoa, it's Combiner Inspector Gadget from McDonald's. Haven't seen you in years. I've been around, you see. By the way, have you seen my hat? Nah, it's probably deeply buried in some toy bin in the office. Darn. Oh look, a fork. I can use this for lunch. Well that was pretty cool seeing an Inspector Gadget combiner long time. If you thought Happy Mill Inspector Gadget was cool, wait till you get a look at Happy Mill Megazord combiner. Whoa, what happened to you? Hey, I still think I'm pretty cool. Oh look, Buzz Lightyear, we can use a new pilot. Really? It's morphin' time. All right, well this is just getting ridiculous, but this was a great 10-piece toy from McDonald's Happy Meal for the new Toy Story 4 movie. 10 pieces to collect and build, each with their own exciting game. Keep an eye out for it, June 2019. Let's go, Woody! I would like a try playing that Squirrel Derby game. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.